Ahí está ese. ¿Ya no qué? Que yo voy al de eso ahí, que yo ahorita voy a la clase. ¿Dónde viene el ¿Dónde viene el teacher? ¿Dónde Okay, are you ready? We are reaching the end of the first model. Okay, I'm gonna check the attendance. Ana Maria. Andrea, um, Carlos Alberto, Yalina Yasmin. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia. Christian. Dalila. Present teacher. Okay. David. Glenda. Jonathan. Tengo problemas con mi cámara, pero no la he encendido. Ok. José Armando. José Pedro. Presente, teacher. Ok. Josué Azael. Nathaniel. Present teacher. Great. Carla Yasmin. Carla Xiomara. Present teacher. Excelente. Laura Noemí. Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Ok. Ovidio Alexander. Pamela. Raquel. Present teacher. Excelente. Saida. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra y Ail. Hi, present. Okay, Sergio. 
Present. Marcela. Present, teacher. Okay. Cindy. And Thelma. Teacher, disculpe, soy Cristian Edwin, no escuché que me mencionara. Ah, yes, sí lo mencioné. Ahorita okay, lo no escuché. Ahorita. Ok, teacher. Cristian. Igual yo, teacher. Escuché, sí, no me sonó. Yes, but you came late. Okay, uh, Carlos, right? David. Ah, David. David, ok. Vaya, recapitulando, Ana María, Carlos, Claudia, Glenda. Present. Ah, Claudia, yes, ok. Glenda. Ok. José Armando. Asael. Yasmin. Laura. Ovidio, Pamela, Cindy, and Thelma. Thelma isn't here. That's weird. Okay. So we are getting to the end of the first course. We are going to continue working on the present continuous tense. Muy bien, luego de que vimos el día de ayer, how to form uh, or how to change a verb into an ING form, today we are going to practice more. Okay, yesterday we were doing some questions using double H words, right? So today, We are going to write more questions. First, we are going to work with yes, no questions. And then we are going to make some uh, double H questions. Okay. Muy bien, here we have some activities. Remember, how or what are the rules to change the verbs? Okay, we have play, ride, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the go. You can go to different places, right? Go to the movies, go to the supermarket, go to the store, mm, go to the park, shop, read, study, and watch television. Okay, we are going to start writing a yes no question and its answer. Okay. Vamos a escribir una yes no question en present continuous tense. Y de una sola vez me escribe la respuesta. Y you can use some of these verbs or you can use different, different verbs. Can you start typing, please? In the chat. Yes. Okay. Hoy no vamos a probar la chamba. Directo en the chat. Type one just no question and it's answer.
Okay, Claudia, yes, that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need 16 questions. You cannot repeat questions. Si alguien más escribió y pensó antes que usted en esa pregunta, you have to change it. David, ¿dónde está el verbo? Are you running? Yes, I am. Okay, too basic. Are you driving a car? Okay. Uh, okay, correct, correct, correct it. David, corríjala. ING, well, present continuous, you have to use verb to be and a main verb. Is she, Jonathan, está repetida esa. You have to think in a different, porque Glenda puso, are you driving a car? And it's the same. You have to think faster. Le falta el, el verbo, Nelson. Are you playing? Are you playing tennis? Right now? Well, are you playing tennis? Recuerde que son para acciones que están ocurriendo en el momento. Y también hay que corregir, Nelson. A ver, no tenía, no la vi. Ah, ya vi. No. Um, ah, do you know? Vamos a usar verb to be. Me está usando auxiliary do. Y vamos a usar ing. Vaya, sería verb to be plus subject plus main verb in in him plus Complement. Are you dancing? Okay. Uh, ya le habían preguntado esa saita. Otra. Hurry up, hurry up. Is she studying? Solo que en la pregunta me puso starting y en la respuesta me puso starring. Uh, are you playing tennis? Ya está Nelson. Otra diferente. David. Ah, are you walking? <laughs> yes, it's correct, David. Ah, por eso decía, are you Washington? Allá entendí el error de dedo. <laughs> el corrector. Are you lying? No, I'm not. But 
you need to add a compliment. Tienen que agregar un complemento. Are you lying on the bed? Are you lying on the grease? Are you lying on the path? Okay. ¿Dónde está la pregunta de Carla? Are you? Oh, are you playing soccer? Okay. Are you? Marcela, el verbo tiene que estar en ing. Drive, hay que cambiarlo. Usando las reglas que vimos ayer. Vamos a agregar ING. Are you dating? Mm. Ok. Ok. Dating is, is not a verb. En español decimos, en español sí, ¿verdad? Yo me baño, tú te bañas. Yes. But in English, we cannot... Um, change so bath is not an action cuando decimos bañarnos por lo general decimos take a shower or take a bath entonces en este caso el verbo es take take a bath entonces en base a eso haga la corrección Saida cómo quedaría su pregunta is she jumping Yes, she's jumping. Okay, yes. That's better, Natinia. Is she jumping high? Is she jumping fast? Add a compliment. Is she jumping on the bed? What are you reading? Okay, I'm reading a book. Great. Two sentences, excellent. Are you studying? Ya le, ya le preguntaron esa a Sergio. Yo sé que todos estudian mucho y por eso. It's the first that comes to your mind. But you have to change it. Ah, pero what are you reading? Es, con, es una double H. Double H question. O sea, ya me hizo la segunda. Ok, now. Make a double H question, así como la de Carla. O sea, no la misma, but using a double H word. Double H word, verb to be, subject, and verb in ING form. Ahí no estamos usando el verbo principal, Glenda. Recuerde, recuerde que tenemos que utilizar el verb to be más un verbo principal. Algo que me denote la acción que se está realizando en ese momento. Por ejemplo, who are you waiting for? Who are you talking to? Pero esa es uh, yes no question. Ya estamos con la double H questions, Raquel. It's correct. The, the, the question is correct. Is he brushing his teeth? Sí, pero o sea, está incluida en las otras. <laughs> ah, ok. Only correct teeth. Why are you crying? Okay. Yes, that's correct, Dalila. Is she dancing on the floor? Pero esa, esa es no question, David. Vamos con double H questions. What are you listening? Okay. 
Yes, that's correct, Nintendo. Why are you reading that book right now? Okay, excellent. Good job, Selena. What food? Um, okay, what food do you prefer? Si sí, es a double H question, pero ahorita estamos practicando el verbo, el, el tiempo presente continuo que se refiere más para acciones. Por ejemplo, podríamos modificarla, Saida. Eh, what are you eating? What are you eating? O what are you eating for uh, lunch? Hey, Marcela, are you driving? Um, pero ese es de las anteriores, Marcela. Le faltaría la, la pregunta usando double H questions. What are you doing? Okay, Claudia, yes, that's correct. What are you doing? Okay. What is he eating? Okay, yes. Correct. He's eating an apple. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Faltan varios home. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sandra, correct. Yo tengo una duda respecto a, por ejemplo, si estoy hablando en tercera persona, pero no directamente de él o ella, eh, de verdad que no se le agrega el, el eh, por ejemplo, ir, he o she. Voy a poner la, la, la pregunta que he formulado. Uh -huh. What are you playing in the park? Okay, la pregunta está correcta, Raquel. What are you playing in the park? Solo que la respuesta, como es una pregunta abierta, no puede ser yes, sino que tiene que ser I am playing soccer, for example. It's an open question. No puede ser yes o no la respuesta, sino que una respuesta abierta. Cuando se refiere a respuesta abierta es donde uno tiene que dar información. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. What are you eating? Okay. Y esa no la habían puesto ya, quiero ver. No. Jonathan, what is your question? ¿Qué hay los demás? Falta Nelson. Está arriba de la de Raquel. <ríe> Who is curing paper? No me sale. Arriba de la mía es, es otra la que está. Me tiene bloqueada. Quizá se lo mandó a alguien, a alguien en específico. Verifique que sea a todos o a mí. Cierto, se fue a alguien en específico. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿cómo se puede hacer una pregunta como las que estamos formulando, pero con it? Ah, ok. Mm. Eh, no, en, re en realidad, es decir, 
Por ejemplo, who is curing paper? No estoy mencionando a alguien en específico, sino que en la respuesta necesito que alguien me diga quién. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Está yes. bien así? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Who is curing paper? Uh -huh. Where are they? Okay, Sandra is correct, but you have to add what are they working on? En qué están trabajando? What are they working on? Where? Oh, okay. Maria is putting paper. Okay. Yes, Jonathan, that's correct. Thank Where you. are you working? Where are you working? Where are you working at the moment, for example? Or where are you working right now? Y en la respuesta, hay que modificar, Dalila, la respuesta. Hay varios no me han puesto su respuesta. En la respuesta igual tenemos que utilizar verb to be. Bueno, empezamos con subject, verb to be, main verb, and ing. Why Nathaniel se comió el verb to be? Ok, ya voy. Where are you working? I am working. I am working in the office or in my office. Okay, why are you writing? Okay, because I like it. Okay. Because the teacher said so. <laughs> A ver, Pedro no me ha escrito su pregunta. David, tampoco veo su pregunta por aquí. Nelson, me falta su pregunta. Sergio, Cristian, ah, Cristian, mm. ah, la de esta, ¿cómo se puede hacer una pregunta como la que estamos formulando, pero con it? Vaya, en este caso, como it es para animales, lugares o cosas. Los lugares y las cosas no pueden realizar una acción. Okay. Para este tiempo, sí, el sujeto debe evidenciar que está realizando una acción. Eh, para lo único que podríamos utilizarlo en este caso sería con animals. Cuando it esté sustituyendo a, a un animal, a una pet, a un dog, un cat, una toro. Okay. In those cases, when we when the action is doing but by, uh, by an animal, we can use it. Pero en el caso de objetos y lugares, mm, well, probably, eh, o sea, son raros los casos. Eh, por ejemplo, what is Making that sound. What is making that sound? Mm, it's 
my old car. Ay, me comí el is. It's my old car. Ok, en ese caso, sí podría ser. Um, pero digamos es como cuando recae la acción sobre el objeto. En esos casos podría ser. Y como le digo con los animals. Um, Why, why is it, um, running so fast? Because, it is chasing a bird, or a rat, if it is a cat. Why is it running so fast? Yes, I don't know if it is clear. O sea, digamos que no, no va a ser muy habitual el tipo, eh, utilizar it, porque como les comento, es como bien extraño que algún objeto realice la acción, pero en los casos en que la acción recae sobre el objeto, yes. Por un momentito me confundí, porque cuando decía it, pensé que estaba hablando del verbo it, comer <risa> ah. y entonces fue como que no entendía pero ahora es que ya no eat the the subject gata eat <risa> ah no ese es it <risa> um where is he playing soccer okay he's playing in the park excellent Christian um Where? <laughs> yes, es que nosotros no nos tratamos tan despectivamente. O sea, porque it es como, no, no, como nosotros digamos que somos más apegados a los animals. I know. I know it is it, it, a cur. Yes. Yo creo que no solo a usted le pasa. But in general, Glenda, they are it. Okay. Questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. Let's make the reading exercise. Okay. Marcela, you are going to be mail. And Claudia, you are going to be Cario, Cassio. And you are going to read until, until here. This will be the first, the first couple. 
then we have until here. Muy bien, para la primera sería Claudia and Marcela. Para la siguiente parte continuaría Raquel and Jonathan. The next part. And the last part will be for Sandra and Christian. Okay. Yeah. But what is a chicharra? Pero ahí no está usando un verbo de acción, Carla. Por ejemplo, what is the chicharra doing? I see. It is, it is singing. Or it is flying. Well, I don't know if they can fly. <laughs> It is dagging. Christian, you are going to read the last part. Por si no me escuchó. I, re uh, I repeat. Okay, start Claudia and Marcela with the first part, please. Okay. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I am I am sitting on my bed why my laptop computer I doing me one homework. What are you working on? Um, I am waiting on okay. Essay. Say, say for the Spanish class. Class. Me continue, Raquel and Jonathan. In the chat. For a minute, where are you? Um. Uh, um where are you? In, uh, Intonation. Repeat. Where are the... you? For a minute, where are you? Um, in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen, I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? Continue. Yes. There, I. There, all, I. They're all. They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's working the lawn. He's mowing. He's mowing the the the. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Okay. Sandra and Christian. Sandra. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing saucer in the bar away. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, mowing the low. Dice cortar el cesto. She's mowing. But this is with, with machine. Okay, with a machine. He's mowing the low. Okay, the loan, it's like the yard. Okay, 
Another question about vocabulary. No. Preguntas de vocabulario. Sorry. I also have trouble with the internet connection. Okay. Questions about vocabulary? Estaban practicando en lo que me fui, ¿verdad? As a good student. No questions. All clear? Okay, so let's make some exercises. Okay, on the platform we have, did you finish the platform, right? Yes. Okay, we have a listening exercise. And we're going to start with Nathaniel, the first one. Okay, only. Déjame ver si. No veo nada. Está cargando. Está trabado, mi. Está trabado yes, la. Está cargando. Como la pantallita. Sí, tampoco veo. Yo también tengo problemas. Hay momentos que no la escucho. Está cargando, wait. Okay, ready. One, are you wearing a coat? Two, what are you doing now? Ah, select the correct intonation. Okay, if they are going up or going down, okay, es lo que les decía de la entonación para las preguntas. Okay, algunas de ellas are uh, going up intonation and some of them I'm falling down. Okay, number one, Nathaniel. Are you wearing a coat? Up or down? Or falling or racing? You want to listen again? He's racing. Are you sure? Racing. Sure. Very, very sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. One. Are you wearing a coat? Okay. I'm going to trust you. Racing, you said, right? Yes. Okay, number two. Nelson. Two. What are you doing now? Okay, Nelson. Racing or falling? A racing. Racing. Pretty sure. Yes. Two. Yes. What are you doing now? Okay. Number three, Saida. Wait, close your microphone. Yeah. 
three. What time? Okay. Saida. Three. What time is it? Four. Okay, Saida. What time is it? Rising or falling? Falling. In number four, Dalila. Is it midnight? Again. Yes. Four. Is it midnight? Fall. Okay, number five, Selena. Five. What color is his T-shirt? Selena? What color is his T-shirt? Ok. Y vamos con... Selina. Number five. Is falling. 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 Yes. And the last one. Sergio. Five. Ella no quiere. Are you there, Sergio? One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his T-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Oh, okay, Sergio. The last one. Racing or falling? Racing. Well, right, let's check. Ta -da! Can you see number two? Number two and number four. Vaya muy bien. ¿Qué, eh, ¿Cómo creen que vamos a, a diferenciar cuando nuestra entonación va a ir racing y cuando va a ir falling? ¿Cómo va a saber usted qué entonación utilizar? Ah, si no me equivoco, todo depende de, de uh -huh. si es WH question. Ajá. O si con el verb to be. Excelente. A yes no question 
or a double H question. Correct. Uh, racing is que va subiendo, va subiendo la entonación. Por ejemplo, what are you doing now? Excellent, Raquel, excellent, Raquel. Graduada, ya. Yeah. Es que yo estudié esa parte. Lista para el módulo 5, no dice. <ríe> Muy bien. Yes. Cuando son open questions, o sea, cuando utilizamos las double H questions, nuestra intonation is racing, va subiendo. Entonces, se hace más que todo el énfasis con la última palabra. Eh, what are you doing now? Y va, no, eso se quiero ver. Ajá, por eso salía esta equivocada. It's falling and it is midnight. Ah, pero esta dice que es racing. It is midnight. But this is a close, uh, una, una pregunta cerrada. Ok. But. Okay. In general, when it's a double H question, it's racing, como lo más común. Y so, es como la entonación más utilizada también. But, cuando tenemos eh, just no questions, in general, they are, are going to fall in. The, the intonation is going to fall in down. O sea, va como baja un poquito la, la entonación. Baja no en volumen, sino la entonación. Ok. Este sería para ya ir cerrando lo, lo que es el módulo o the section. Solo nos quedarían um, algunos ejercicios. Well, let's do the last exercise. With activities, with activities. Ah, esas las hicimos ayer, creo. No. Teacher, usted no va a dar el siguiente módulo. No, siempre me cambian los grupos. Ay. Yes. Pero la otra teacher no es enojada. Ay, sí, o el otro teacher no es hungry. Oh. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I never been with another teacher, but no, I don't think so. They are cool. Muy bien, dice, we are going to practice. Hagámosla rapidito. Son six questions, six volunteers. Uno for la number one. A ver, vayan levantando la manita para que terminemos rápido. Volunteers, volunteers. Esos que quieren aprender, que estudian, se desvelan y todo. Vamos a ver. Nadie. Claudia, ok, Claudia, number one. Um, sería la dos, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, yes. What's Who is he sleeping post? now? Victoria is sleeping now. Number eh, two. Sería, he's wearing pajamas. Ok. This one. Oh, no, this one. No, la, la otra. Ok. Thank you, Claudia. Ok, Asael. Sería la number, número tres, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, sería Sue and Tom are ever in... Uh, Sue and Tom, verb to be. Uh, are ever... Having, having uh, breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Okay, number four. Yo, 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 yo. Sandra. Hey. What Celia wearing? She's wearing a sweet 
Excellent. Let me check. Yes. Number five, Selena. James and Annie are having lunch because it's known. Okay. I have a lunch because it's known. The first one or the third one? Encuentro la diferencia. Ah, ya vi cuál es la diferencia. Number one, two, or three? La three. Okay. And number six, Nathaniel. Uh, where, where is Andrew working? Uh, he is working in Moscow. Moscow. Mm -hmm. Hey, excellent. Okay. Muy bien, mañana vamos a hacer una actividad de cierre para hacer un general review de los contenidos que hemos visto durante, durante el curso. Okay, so don't miss the class tomorrow and be on time, please. Okay, Ana Maria, no? Carlos? No? Jose Armando? No? Rafael, yes. Present teacher. Carla Jasmine? Present. Carla Jasmine, no. ¿Quién dijo presente además de Asael? José Armando. No. Um, Carla Jasmine, Laura, Laura Noemi. Laura, no, no, no. no. Ovidio, Pamela. Are you there, Pamela? Vi que entró, pero ya no la veo. And Cindy. Thelma. No. Okay. I'm sorry for the inconvenience today with the internet connection. Okay, but I hope tomorrow will be a better day. Goodbye, teacher. Okay, get rest and see you tomorrow. Don't miss the last class, please. See you tomorrow. I will tomorrow. have a surprise for you. Uh -oh. Happy night. <laughs> Happy night. <laughs> Porque se afligen. <laughs> a good surprise. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Entonces, el módulo 1, el día de mañana se estaría cerrando. Uh -huh. Mañana. Y ya nos... para, para la próxima semana nos avisarían. Sí, este, como ya enviaron su solicitud para el siguiente módulo, Igual le van a estar enviando la información vía correo, me imagino que se las enviaron o vía WhatsApp, I don't know. Así, con la misma información, es su link para ingresar, el horario, el URL de la plataforma, o sea, le vuelven a enviar todo nuevamente. Entonces, cuando o sea ya tengan que... eso confirmado, más o menos se tarda como una semana por ahí. Vamos a tener vacaciones. Yes, cabal. <risa> no sorpresa mañana. Ah. No, yes, siempre la surprise no se la van a quitar. De uh, Gip. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Noches. See you tomorrow. Have bye, a good bye. night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye. Good night, Peter.
Good night.